<laughs> if you are in your 30s, think back to how you transition to or from your 20s. And if you're in your 20s, imagine who you'll become in your 30s. And if you're older, excuse me, wiser, please share your wisdom with us youngins. We need guidance. I'm 33, and this year has been filled with a lot of growth contrasted to my 20s. More specifically, to my dating and love life. Ooh, very different now. Growing up, I was a socially awkward, chubby geek, mostly in middle to high school. And then I didn't enter a relationship until 22. That was my first girlfriend. So I'm a late bloomer. And, well, Relationships in the teenage years don't really matter. No matter how, how meaningful can they be? Yeah, right. <laughs> but anyways, in my childhood, I wasn't shown how to be a man, how to treat and communicate with a woman. My parents divorced when I was seven, and my father was abusive to his girlfriend. So I didn't have a stable, healthy relationship model. Luckily, I didn't pick up those physically abusive traits of my father, but it led to over-glorifying women, holding them on a pedestal, and devaluing myself. And I didn't really learn solid values from my family yeah, things were taught like self-responsibility, respect others, but they weren't made consistently clear enough. I lacked foundational values in my 20s, which led to weak relationships with women. I barely could envision my own future, so how can I envision a future with someone else? I. I denied myself what I truly desired from not making my values clear to myself. I value health and fitness, but found myself in relationships with others that didn't. I value order and cleanliness, but dated women who were chaotic and messy. And I realized that establishing solid, concrete values is a foundation to creating a grand palace of life and a spectacular, powerful partnership. And the formula to this in creating a grand palace is you start with your values, then comes self-worth and confidence, then you can establish a vision of the future, then you can establish a vision of the ideal partner, and then combine that with that future. But even after establishing my values explicitly for the past three years, I still attracted women with qualities that I didn't want. Then I realized I needed to stop focusing on what I didn't want because the mind doesn't really understand, do not. Don't open that door. What are you gonna do? Think about opening that door. So I must focus on what I do want. And then the latest lesson that I've learned this year is from a wonderful woman that I had feelings for, but she none for me. <laughs> However, she drew out creativity and expressions of love. I wrote and sang poetry to her. I surprised her with flowers, thoughtful gifts. 
I helped her with errands, I was simply of service to her. I listened. Gentlemen, are you taking notes? Yeah, nope. right, 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 I learned to be of service to a woman, and I learned about the art of courtship. And a lot of people nowadays are caught up in this culture of instant gratification and don't want to put in the work of pursuing what they truly desire. Swipe left, swipe right, like, like, like. But moving forward, I will continue to be intentional. I will focus on what I do want and act through love and service. And I hope to court my ideal partner. And if there's any women out there with a master's degree that is free emotionally and strives to succeed in all areas of life, I would like to get to know you. Yes, I would. Yeah.